I'm Archie Luxury, and welcome to the show! Now, today we're going to review a, uh, a watch collection from M3AU. And uh, look, to start with, what have we got it in here? We've got it in one of these bloody Chinese uh, watch winder cheap cases, and it's not looking very good to start off with, is it? Anyway, let's just open things up and see what we've got. Oh, goodness me! To start with, we've got a we've got a a Submariner. It's a two-tone sub, black on black, with uh, with a ceramic bezel. Oh, Archie, Archie, yeah, Archie could come at that one, but it, look, it isn't a bluesy, and Archie's more a bluesy's man than he is a black on black. So uh, uh, we'll just pop that one aside there for the minute. The next one. Oh, goodness gracious, we've got a Daytona. Have, Archie loves the Daytona. He really does love the Daytona. But this one, well. This one's, you know, it's uh, it's got a black face. Archie prefers the white face. Uh, it's got the Rolex movement in it. You can see that from the uh, the the sub second dial position. And uh, you know, so it's not a zenith. Um, anyway, look, uh, look, Archie does love the Daytona, but they're warmer assholes. So um, Archie's uh, just going to pop that one back for the time being and move on to the next piece. And what have we got here? Oh. Archie doesn't know what the hell that is. A blank pane. Archie's never heard of that brand. Um, anyway, it's obviously a piece of shit. Um, what is it? it it's a blank pane lemon. Um, and uh, it's made out of titanium. And it looks like it's got it's got a GMT function uh, over there at 9 o'clock. Um, Archie's eyes aren't good enough to, to read the time on that one. And, uh, and it looks like it's also got an alarm on it. Um... Well, Archie doesn't need an alarm these days because he doesn't work. So, uh, you know, that's a, that's a pointless piece if ever there was one. Anyway, we'll pop that one back. Um, and what have we got here now? Oh, another Rolex. Oh, now this is more Archie style. This is a, uh, a pre-ceramic sapphire Rolex GMT2. Oh, he does love the GMT2. Uh, although not as much as uh, a couple of other Rolex, Rolex watches that are cheaper than this one. Uh, what, what's this one got on it? It's got a holes case. Oh, lovely holes case. Oh, and it's got the beautiful, cheap, nasty little oyster clasp of the watches of the 1990s. Oh, Archie does love that. Although it's blackface means you can't wear it with a suit. <coughs> now, what have we got? Oh, oh, he's got a fucking Breitling. Breitling, oh, Archie hates Breitling. He hates people who wear Breitling. And oh, look, it's a Navy timer. So he does actually love the Navy timer. Archie does love the Navy timer. But this is just a Breitling. It's just a, uh, an ETA piece of shit. And uh, Archie doesn't really give a, a flying fuck as to whether it's a special edition or whether it's, you know, a smaller watch and less blingy than most of the Breitling Navy timers out there. Uh, because it's none of this. It's an ETA piece of shit. Oh, Archie's starting to lose enthusiasm here. And uh, look, uh, oh, Archie loves his white spirits. He loves his white spirits probably more than he loves his white metals. But uh, look, we just need to wet the whistle a bit. Oh, uh, oh. Mm. Mm, mm. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Okay, now what have we got here? Oh, he's got he's got a reverso. Fantastic, Archie's Archie's starting to gain some enthusiasm here. Oh, it's a rev oh, but oh my god, it's a reverso automatic. Now everyone knows that the reverso was a manual wine watch. The automatic is always going to be compromised. Um, and uh, look, uh, look, it's a nice looking piece, but uh, you know, Archie's, and, and even when you turn it over, it's got the, it's got the, it's got the proper steel back that an original reverso had, uh, unlike a lot of modern reversos. But look, no, it's an automatic, and the reverso should be manual wind, and um, so Archie's just going to pop that one back. I mean, he's he's enthusiastic about that one, but he's not really. Um, you know, it's not Archie's sort of reverso, if you know what I mean. Now, what have we got? Oh, now, this is Archie's sort of reverso. Oh, look at that. It's a little bit too big for Archie, but it's, uh, that's a, a, a reverso grand calendar. Oh, lovely. Now, look, it's not an annual calendar, and it's certainly not a perpetual calendar. It is an expensive watch, but uh, this one is a, is a really more triple date. And you've got a few of these little pushers on the sides there to uh, um, change the days and the months and all the rest of it. 
Oh, but I actually does like this. Oh, it's a, it's you know, Axman says and the the watch snob says this is the the ideal dress watch, and this is an absolute cracker. Oh, and look at the back there. Look at all that horology there. Beautiful, lovely. All right, now let's just move. Oh, what have we got? Here? An IWC. Yeah. Uh, you know, Archie's. You know, it, they, IWC doesn't float Archie's boat, if you know what I mean. Um, but nonetheless, yeah, chicken, yeah, you could come at this. It does have an in-house movement with an eight-day power reserve, which is, you know, that's impressive. Although Archie's, um, Archie's Reverso has an eight-day power reserve and it's a much smaller movement. So, you know, um, Judge Ella Coop, you know, they've done a lot better than IWC can in terms of, uh, you know, fitting an eight-day power reserve into, uh, into an ultra-small watch face uh, or watch movement. Um, yeah, so that's that's quite nice. I love the Milanese bracelet on this. It's ideal for uh, living in Brisbane because uh, you know that uh, you know that's that's, that's not going to you know melt you know with all the sweat that comes off Archie's wrist. Um, but anyway, look, we'll pop that back there and we'll get to it a bit later. Now, what are the last two watches we've got here? Oh. This is a JJ LeCute uh, Amvox 2 chronograph. Oh, the Archie's Archie would love to have the car that goes with this, um, but he's not that keen on the watch itself. You know, it is a JJ LeCute, but uh, it's not a Reverso. So uh, we'll just pop that one back here and move into the next. Uh, and oh, it's another JJ LeCute, and again, it's not a Reverso. So that's what is what that, that's a Master Control. Mm -hmm. Look, Fackers, uh, that's, that's a Master Control Geographic. It's got a black face, so you can't wear it with a suit. Um, it's got a metal bracelet, which makes it it's okay wear for, for wear in, in Brisbane. But, um, you know, it, it's not really a dress watch, and so Archie will just put that aside. So, well, what does Archie think about this collection, and what, how would he change it? Well, look, you know, I think that the... Uh, the 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 submariner is is, is great uh, you know you everyone needs a two tone sub in their collection although that one really should be a blue and not a black on black but uh, look uh, you look we'll 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 give allowances there and we'll move on to the the Daytona now look the Daytona Archie oh, does love the Daytona but uh, you know it is worn by fuckwits so uh, Archie would get rid of that and replace that with maybe a couple of no date subs one for each wrist. Um, now, uh, you're not going to be able to get rid of this thing, this blank pane or whatever the hell it is. Uh, uh, but look, you need to do what you can now before it gets dinged too much and is worth absolutely nothing on the secondary market. And, and Archie would probably replace that with a, a, a Rolex Polar Explorer 2. Archie does love the Polar Explorer 2. There too. Oh, it's just lovely. Um, now look, the, the the GMT Master Two would probably keep that one. The the, the Brightling, we got to get got to get rid of that now. Uh, it's just an ETA piece of shit. And uh, what Archie would do is replace that with a. Yeah, I think you could probably almost get uh, get a Tudor. Um, maybe a Black Bay or something like that. Uh, you know, it's a much better ETA movement than the ETA movement you're getting on any Brightling. Mm. Now the, the the this reverse automatic, I think Archie would probably keep that. I'd, I'd keep that. I you know I don't hang on to that one, and and I'd certainly hang on to this one here because that's a manual wind reverso, and everyone knows that the reverso should be manual wind. Now uh, this IWC, look honestly, IWC it doesn't float Archie's boat, uh, and so uh, I'd I'd flick it. I'd flick that. I'd flick that and replace it with. I'd replace that with an, a Reverso tribute to 1931. Ah, oh, that would just that would just fit so well into this collection. Now, what would we do about the Amvox 2? Well, because Archie doesn't have an Aston Martin, he, he doesn't need an Aston Martin watch, so he'd get rid of that one. And uh, you know, uh, we've already got rid of the Daytona and the uh, and the. That brightling piece of shit. Um, so I think what we probably do is is we'd, we'd flick that and get uh, with the proceeds. We'd, uh, we'd we'd find ourselves a good um, you know a good watch dealer. Maybe Brisbane Wind Vintage Watches or uh, Shawnee down in Melbourne at Armadale, and uh, and we get ourselves a really nice minty 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 uh, Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. That's what we do, and we'd probably have a few 
since left over and we could use that to go to bangers bangers and we could uh, have a bit of fun with some service providers over there now lastly we, we, we've got this uh, this is uh, non uh, reverso uh, JJ Lakute and um, you know we've got to get rid of that because it's not a reverso so uh, I think we probably sell that and um, well, actually, doesn't have any other watch selections, does he? Uh, I've already, I've, we've already put a uh, an Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. Um, we've put a, a Polar uh, uh, Rolex Explorer T in there, and we put a No Date Sub. So, look, we're probably going to end up with an empty slot over there uh, once Archie's finished with this collection. So that's that's what I've uh, that's what I'd suggest there. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think. <laughs>